Hello and welcome in today's lesson. Today I am going to talk about reproductive health, human reproductive phases, determining sex and about the abuses of drugs. So in today's video lesson <coughs> we are going to talk about these um, topics and you will be happy to learn about it. So firstly let us start with reproductive health. What does it mean? You know the mental and physical well-being of an individual is regarded as an individual health. However, talking about reproductive health, it means proper growth and well-being of the reproductive organs. And you already know that the reproductive organs develop and become functional during adolescence. Now there are certain factors that lead to overall well-being in adolescence be it overall uh, health or reproductive health that depends upon the following factors number one is balanced diet it means during adolescence there is need of proper balanced diet proper amount of carbohydrates proteins fat vitamins and minerals must be included in food to remain fit and healthy Number two, personal hygiene. During adolescence, many physical and psychological changes are observed. So if good hygiene is not maintained, it may result into diseases, particularly skin diseases. And during this period girls need special attention because they go through a physical change or a biological change that is a menstrual period and then uh, there is number third which is a very important factor for uh, overall health or reproductive health that is physical exercise. Physical exercise not only helps in making a strong body but it also helps in proper utilization of energy. And then there is uh, to save oneself from drugs that is say no to drugs. During teenage Anyone might get affected by negative thoughts or energies. So at such times falling for drugs can ruin one's life. So it is safe. As it also is a period of uh, emotional and uh, psychological changes. One must be very uh, careful. And stay away from uh, these evil things. So the second thing we are going to talk about is human reproductive phase. The reproductive stage in humans start with the beginning of puberty and it is observed in boys and girls at near about same age. But reproductive phase in males remain much longer in comparison with females. For example in case of women the reproductive phase starts at puberty that is 10 to 11 years of age and it lasts till about 50 years of age while in case of males the reproductive phase lasts even about 60 years of age so talking about the reproductive phase in females 
the main reproductive uh, phase in females includes menstrual cycle so what is menstrual cycle it is a reproductive cycle of females that begins from the age of 10 to 12 years and lasts until the age of 45 or 50 years when a female or female is hit puberty the eggs or ova start getting mature and one of the ovaries then releases the mature ovum around 28 to 30 days by this time the wall of the uterus at this time when the egg is released it becomes thick to hold the egg in case if fertilization occurs and the egg develops and when the fertilization does not take place the lining of the uterus sheds along with the eggs and the blood vessels this results in menstruation or menstrual cycle or bleeding in females so the first menstrual flow occurs at puberty and this is called as the menog and when the menstrual flow stops that is at the end of 45 or 50 years of age that is lost menstrual cycle in females it is termed as menopause and the whole menstrual cycle occurs because of the female hormones now how can you determine the sex of a baby or how we can know about the sex of a baby as we know that there are 23 pairs of chromosomes present inside the nucleus of every human cell what are these chromosomes these chromosomes have a thread like structure and they always occur in pairs and these are the chromosomes that help in determine the sex of a child out of 23 pairs of chromosomes two of them are sex chromosomes called x chromosome and y chromosome females have two x chromosomes and males have one x and one fem uh, and one y chromosome the gametes contain only one set of chromosomes that is either an x or a y and the egg of the female contains an x chromosome always however the male sperm can contain only one of the x and y chromosomes so if the sperm that contains a y chromosome from male fertilizes with the egg which contains the x chromosome from the female the zygote develops into male that is the baby will be male on the other hand if the sperm contains an x chromosome and it fertilizes with the egg which contains which also contains an x chromosome the zygote develops with x x chromosomes that is a female or a female child or baby hence the sex of the child depends upon the chromosomes of the father and not the mother here is a pictorial description for you chromosomes for mother 2x chromosomes and from father x and y chromosome so if uh, x and x fertilizes that is x from mother's egg and x from father's sperm then it is a female baby and if x chromosome and y chromosome from uh, father and x from mother fertilizes the zygote then formed will be a containing xy chromosomes and it will be a male baby then there is a problem in adolescent's age that is drugs or drug addiction say no to drugs because it is a major health hazard or it is uh, very harmful for health 
as drugs are addictive and harm the body in the long run. Sometimes the harm done by these drugs becomes irreversible and irreparable. So therefore, any, in, uh, any teenager should say no to drugs. Similarly, these drugs can lead to another, uh, other problems like HIV can pass on to a normal person from an infected person by sharing the syringe used for injecting drugs. That means if a person is uh, HIV positive and the needle used by him can pass this infection to another person. Then this uh, HIV can be also transmitted to an infant from the infected mother through her milk. This virus can also be transmitted through sexual contact with a person infected with HIV. And the people who are, inf uh, who are addicted to drugs have more chances of having HIV infections. So we should stay away from these uh, drugs and uh, make sure that during this stage of uh, emotional, psychological and physical change, we take better care of ourselves, remain fit and healthy. So with this, we come to the end of today's topic. Stay blessed and bye-bye.